it's working we're live yay okay it says we're live and of course have to do the obligatory check Janice to make sure so please excuse me if my screen has gone blank I have just um, switched the tab just to make sure that I'm there there we go every time marking as a listing for sale so let's turn that off and see if the video shows up I'm very excited about tonight and please <laughs> excuse me if I sound a bit tired it is very hot here in Northern Ireland for once it's been very hot all week but I am grateful for the sunshine. Okay, I am live. Fantastic. Whew. I am... Oh, yeah. No, I've got everything. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure I had all my supplies. Hello. Who's that? Is that Sandra? Hey, Rachel. Sandra, is that you? Hello, Rachel. How are you, love? And hello to whoever else is watching. Am I live on the page as well? I'm wondering. No, I'm not. I'm not. I've just chosen. Just chosen to. So this week we're going to work on a collaborative canvas project. Hey, Lisa. So I have already done a few layers on this canvas. It was part of um, in Stacey's group, the Thrive and Spoonie community. She did like a week of blue and that was what we were focusing on so I did this canvas and it was layered with vintage wallpaper and gesso and uh, tons of the chalk paint and then scrapbook paper just tons of texture uh, and then this week I kind of colored over a part of it with yellow pencil I thought this would be a good place to start so that I'm not having to do all this and then wait for ages for the background to dry and everything and I've got so many supplies with me I've got my big chunky markers <clears throat> I've got chalk paint because it dries much quicker I've got all the pastels hello Stacey we are going to be building on the blue canvas that I did for uh, your group oh my prize arrived today thank you uh, I've got this beautiful purple but of course as always you're going to have to help me with choosing colors and everything so I have a vague idea of what I want to do, but it's very vague. What colors would you start to layer on top of this? Oh, I've got a blue paint that I also don't want to forget to use because it's a very nice blue. So I'm thinking, I'm just looking at my oil pastels here to try and choose colors to go along with the blue. I um, think, because my default is just pink and yellow and blue. And I always want to do that. Oh, purple's a good one. Where did that purple paint go? Yeah, purple's a good one. And then with purple, I would do yellow. Oh, there's that green. So it could be these colors. Or maybe these colors. Cause um, let me look at my color with green goes with like a pinky purple. Yeah, that'd do. Blue goes with like red. Mm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Thoughts, anybody? Sandra, what do you think? I like these colors together. So what I'm going to be doing is what we've been doing. The well, really, we did them at the very beginning, which is a lot of mark making. Hello, welcome. It's so lovely to see you. And uh, yeah, I do like this green. Hopefully, hopefully it's okay. Actually, I'll be real. No, it's all dry up. No, no problem, Stacy. I will then use the lime green oil pastel option. I like it. So. If you haven't been with us before, there are lots of replays available inside the Facebook group. Actually, I will put a banner up just in case anybody wants to get inside the Facebook group. If you're watching on YouTube, you can literally just follow this link and it'll take you right there. Um, you don't have to do it now. You can do it after we uh, we get going. Like the color combo. Okay, who's this? <laughs> Hello, is this Corinne? I could, I could be just guessing anybody. But welcome. So what we have inside the Facebook group are the videos from the very beginning and you can watch them all. 
And we have got a ton of mark making, layering. The reasons why these techniques are so good for stress relief, why they are so important for you to just take five, 10 minutes out of your day to do. I love doing them with you guys on Facebook because it, it really feels like a collaborative project. And I know that tons of you, even if you're not making along, you really enjoy watching the process. So I am excited to get started. This will be an ongoing thing. We will be continuing to add layers every so often. So, and normally in the other um, videos that I've done before, they're all quick projects. I really love a quick project because not only do you get the benefit of spending like 15 to 20 minutes doing something creative, which is fantastic for your brain because it really rests you, it kind of resets you, it gets your brain into that mode that is like ideal just before you go to bed or go to sleep. It really, it is just so good for your mental health to just switch off and be in that mode because normally we are just going through our days actively thinking all the time when we're on our phones when we're scrolling we we may not be actually engaging we may just be scrolling but we're actively thinking and what's really important is that we take time off to just relax and get ourselves into that mode so that we can improve our sleep we can improve our mode mode mood and whenever you do the small projects, as soon as you finish them, you get a wee dopamine release, which is excellent because that is a happy hormone. So that is why I love doing those kind of small projects. Um, but this is just a little bit different, chosen via poll inside the Facebook group and has linked right there. Oh my goodness, guys. I'm, if I start sounding weird and like I'm losing my mind, it's probably because the heat has just melted me just completely. What is that? What am I looking at here? Aha, a top of the pant. <laughs> I was like, what on earth? <laughs> so, I'm going to get started. I'm going to be asking you your opinions, and I would love for you to share. Oh, that's the keyboard. Don't want that. Where am I going? This way. This way. So, let me see. I'm just going to, just going to grab a few more pastels because there's a load of lovely purples in there and hello 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 who's this saying hi so i i really enjoy finger painting i'm going to use just the back of this to put a little paint on actually i don't want all of it to splodge out no one might look that would definitely happen Oh, there's a lovely lamb green paint up there. So I'm just going to do some splodges. Has anybody ever tried finger painting as an adult? It is so thoroughly enjoyable. And I don't mean just like mark making, but actually like painting the flower with your fingers. Um, I must show you the sketchbook where I have done that myself. Hey Jillian, welcome! Yeah, I really love adding texture to uh, canvases and I do that through like vintage wallpaper, strips of paper, there is a lot of gesso and then chalk paint and then just layers upon layers like this is maybe about seven layers already before we get started and you can see the scrap of paper that was around there and I just I kind of tore parts off the wallpaper so you know the way it's really layered so it's got all of the texture from that I just oh, excuse me I want to wipe my finger I should probably have lifted some stencils out that would have been good as well but I am um, thinking of putting a butterfly on here at some stage. I'm just not sure when. And these are oil pastels, just in case anybody's wondering.
Hey, Megan, welcome. I'm so sorry. Uh, it, I was having such a problem with StreamYard this week. It wasn't letting me uh, schedule in advance. It kept saying that the Facebook group was disconnected. So whenever I made the event, it just, it happened in there. I didn't have a link to like tell you to go to uh, the StreamYard one because it was not working. And I had to just decide to, or choose the option to go live immediately instead of schedule like I normally do. I apologize for that. So let me see. I absolutely love using um, oil pastels on textured things because it never comes out perfect, quote unquote, perfect. That does not exist. Remember everybody, <laughs> remember from my talks and my words. Excuse me for reaching over. Perfect. Okay, so. Oh, that's a good green. Good choice, Rachel, good choice. How has everybody's week been? How have you been handling the heat if you are in the UK? I will tell you, I will be the first to tell you, not well <laughs> on my part, not well. Oh my goodness, I ended up having to sleep on the sofa last night because I live in a cold country, right? Ireland is always cold and my house is very well insulated. So the upstairs of my house, it is like an oven. It is stifling to breathe which is why I might be stumbling on my words tonight because it is so very hot. And even with the fan, it was just kind of pushing hot air into my face. I was like, no. So I managed to get a half decent sleep on the sofa, which just amazed me because that's never happened. Get a pool <laughs> to use for one week every 10 years. Whenever we get a heat, we have. <laughs> oh no, I put that out already. so difficult to think as well because like I don't think many places have air conditioning here unless it's a business or like you're pretty wealthy because there's no real need for it so I've just had to keep the curtains closed and keep the fan going and I, I even took do you know one of those um freezer blocks that you bring in a picnic or a cooler yeah brought one of those to bed with me the other night as well <laughs> it's so hot Oh no. Don't suppose you've got a fan, uh, Megan? Let me see, where's the white? Let's go white chalk to the, excuse you. White chalk paint, because it dries the fastest, just around the edges. Do a little blending. Just to soften it up a bit. Um, so I buy a lot of chalk paint testers just because it's just so much easier to work with paint that dries a lot faster. You're not having to wait for ages. You can create your artwork pretty quickly. goodness Sandra how is the pregnancy going Sandra's pregnant everybody just in case you missed it on Monday <laughs> Woohoo! 
Have you got morning sickness? My gut's dry already, so see what I mean? So much easier. Okay. Now let me see. I'm thinking more blue. Oh no, Megan, that sucks. I'll actually do some kind of larger crosses. I'm not sure if you can see. Hope you can. Oh, we got uh, Purpose's news. I forgot. Uh, so it isn't her heart, which is good. Uh, they do think there is something wrong with her vertebrae now. Um, which is not great. But she was at the vets today. She is currently out of her nut on sedation. And she hates it, understandably. And I'm pretty sure a lot of us have been there. <laughs> where you've been sedated and you're like, what is happening? I feel so strange. What's next? I think I am also going to add a bit of black to this. Yeah, I'm going to go for black. Because I love the stamp effect that these markers give when there's not an awful lot of ink left in them. Or when I haven't just, you know, shaken it to get the ink to come down. It's like sponge printing. Remember doing that at school? Maybe a quote would be good in the middle of this instead of a big butterfly. I've got loads of those. Where's my, oh, my big pool of printers downstairs. Dang it! Um, what way would I do it? That way? It doesn't look as bright as it is on screen, but it is pretty bright. So yeah, I like this. Hmm. Where to next, guys? Where to next? Thank you. <laughs> I'll tell the cat. Watch some pingu, you'll be great. <laughs> okay, circles. More circles. So at the end of this um, live, I'm going to be announcing the giveaway winner for that Art by Marlene journal. It is sitting right here beside me and I chose the winner earlier using a um, random name generator thing. I will upload the video because I took a screen grab whenever I was doing it. Just so y'all know it's on the, on the up and up. Hey Becca! Well, I've been filling stuff with lots of marks. And now I will probably be painting over quite a few of them just because it's going to be a layered project. So, yeah, the giveaway winner is going to be announced at the end of this. And I have a bit of a, a wee offer for you, I think that you will like. And oh my gosh, the response to the energy management webinar that I hosted on Monday has been incredible. The emails I have been getting, oh my gosh. So if you were at the energy management webinar on Monday, I'm going to be reaching out to you just to get a, a little bit more info on how I can make it even better for even more Spoonies. And I would love it if you could help me with that. That would be fantastic. I think we could help a lot of people. And it really could be life changing, you know. So thanks, Stacy. Gonna fill in those circles that I just painted. 
wonder can I mix that color? Oh, I can. Oh, purple. So, um, I know a few people were a bit annoyed at the, just at the fact that they, they couldn't watch the replay even, even though I left it up a wee bit longer. But I've just taken it down so I really can refine it and re-release it and do it again and just make sure to include even more information that's even more helpful and maybe even update the energy diary with some of the diagrams that I had drawn just to make the whole thing so much easier to understand and digest and just work with. Because I know that, especially if you've got brain fog, it can get overwhelming pretty quickly. So, oh no, painting around. Uh, so yeah, I'm looking forward to working on that and just refining the process even more. They could be good flowers, those. I like just the, the mix of color. So yeah, as I was saying about the webinar, if anybody wants to see it, like really wants to see it, I will be, I'll be uploading it to YouTube as like an unlisted video, but I will be able to share the link if anybody is really bursting to see it and needs the help sooner rather than later. So just in case you know of anybody who wants this information, just get them to get in touch. I'm more than happy to help in that way. Yeah, so that is a mixture of oil paint and then chalk paint. I'm gonna just soften these bits down as well. So yeah, hopefully Pippers is wee sedation. Uh, I don't know how long it's gonna last. She was sedated at about 12. Uh, they said it was a light sedation, but she's still out of her mind. So I hope it's not too long. She did calm down a wee bit, which was good, but she's still a bit jittery. Everything's very scary. And then she tried to jump up from the, just from under a table onto the couch and she bopped her wee head. I was like, no, don't be doing it. Yeah, I love that as well, Becca. So I just need to make sure that I am scrolling, not with my painted finger. <laughs> that could be a disaster. And I, as I said, I have a vague idea of where I wanna go, but as I always mention, it is not about the destination. <laughs> It's about the journey and the process of creation. Oh, thank you, uh, Stacey and Becca for that. Just for sending prayers and love. So yeah, this kind of softens everything. So it, it, it itself can be used as a background. So you can even layer some quotes on top or whatever. We'll get there eventually when we're ready. Um, yes, I did. What title? Just to wipe my hands. I love getting paint all over myself. Does anybody else paint with their fingers like a lot? <laughs> I absolutely love it, but this time I want to be a bit more precise. I just I love how thick this paint is. White would be a brilliant accent as well on those um, black marks. I'm trying to decide whether to use like a white paint marker or just like dots on this. Yep, 
yeah, I'm such a mess as well whenever I paint Rachel. You're not alone there. I love just how much it has muted these really bright and strong accents and I'm really surprised by how dark these areas look. It must just be the contrast on the screen. Might look different for you depending on what device you're using. Does anybody like to work on canvases? I know that uh, Stacy does. And we've got pink. Is it pink that we're working on on Monday? Oh, I need to schedule Monday's workshop as well. Let's do that over the weekend. Just papers has had me all up the left this week. But I will, and I'll make sure to invite everybody because I'm sure StreamYard still will not work. <laughs> it's been a couple of weeks now, and it's been doing the same thing. I'll try with auto pass so we can see what happens. So I tried, not completely. That looks wet as well. Let's be very careful. Ooh, pink and green, love it. Becca and Rachel, will I be seeing you at that workshop on Monday, as long as I don't forget? Just after the Monday workshops that I host, I get a bit tired, but usually there's enough time, there's like an hour and a half or so that I can rest in between my ones and Stacy's, which I'm excited about. Cause pink is my favorite color. Um, I almost started singing an Aerosmith song there, or, uh, yeah, Aerosmith, I think. Can anybody tell me what that song is? Does anybody remember? <laughs> Which way do I like the best? That way, I think. The oil over the textured stuff makes it look even better because it really brings out the you know the shadows in the in the spaces between. Lisa, uh, how has the sun hot weather been where you are? And what's it like in Wales, Becca? Is everybody completely melted? Oh, yeah. Okay, you can really see the texture here. I love it. <laughs> yes, I completely agree. And also with that. <laughs> Completely. I really struggled to work this week just because it's been so hot. And then when my brain has had time to think over that, oh, papers. Oh, hello. Somebody's joining us. Maybe, depending on how she's feeling, she might still be out of it. Are you coming over? Nope, she's away. <laughs> just came up to explore. I've had to keep the door open and everything just because it's so warm. It'd just be like a hot box in a wee minute if I kept the door closed. But 
Oh boy. So I have a question. Who has done something creative this week? For once, I haven't really been that creative during the week. I think it was just the stress of purpose, like the exact time where I should have been being extra creative and getting myself to do things. It's, well, you, you might just need to tell me that later. <laughs> okay. I hope it's not rude is all I'm going to say. <laughs> of course I said that, of course. I'm wondering. What have you been working on, Stacey? And what kind of what kind of painting did you do? It was supposed to be cooler here tomorrow and Sunday, but it turns out that it's gonna be um Oh, okay. I get it. Like closing old car doors and then lighting up. Oh, sure. The lady's been living under a rock right here. Oh my word, I haven't used this one in ages. There we go. Ooh. Oh no, I've got paint all over my legs. <laughs> Farts. <laughs> oh man. I'm covered in sun cream and bloody paint. Of course I am. Oh, ooh. Well, that was an accident, but I like it. Da -da -da. Might take a wee while to dry, but. God, I was in the lid and everything, Jesus. And of course, I have painted the desk also. Oh, farts, God, there's more coming. Jesus. Oh, man. Don't let me forget to clean that later. What time is it? Okay. I don't want to keep everyone too long. I think. So do I. Yep. Let it run. <laughs> I was going to blend it in, but I'm just going to let it run. See what happens. Oh no, that's going to run as well. What kind of a bear thing are we talking about? Uh, just because Becca said she was going to make a bear thing. So this is going to be it for the canvas part for this week. We will pick it up again another week. I'm just gonna leave it as it is and we can decide where we're going, what we're gonna do. So far, oh, excuse me. Such terrible camera work. I like what I've done. I'm excited for where it's going. I love letting ink run. It, that's like when it goes everywhere the most, the absolute most. Ooh. Yeah, graffiti style, love it. Covered, absolutely covered. Okay, so. Oh man. Yeah, well, that's true. <laughs> so that is true. Oh, yes. Of course. I remember. Thank you very much. So I'm just having a look. That's good that you're swimming each day and that you've been able to clean. Uh, can someone please explain to Megan what um, hot boxing is? Thank you so much. Oh. I like that. Have you been using um, like a palette or pencils or what have you been doing? Or like liquid watercolors? I love to know. I'm wondering what to do with this paint that I've left here and now I'm all over the table. Me, Jesus. Let me see if I've got an art journal page to spare. Of course I do. Oh my God, Stacey. <laughs> and Stacey, explain to Stacey as well. Becca, help. Lisa, help. Somebody help.
So maybe I will do a background depending on how much paint there is here. It's a beautiful shade of blue. And there's a bit of green still left on the... <laughs> Just laughing at Mega. Yeah, Google's a good place to go. The mix of um, blue and green is beautiful here. Very close to being an ocean of sorts. <laughs> they say mental things in Australia. Isn't that right, Megan? <laughs> I was saying to somebody uh, from Australia the other day, talking about, maybe it was a while ago, about a cafetiere, and they're like, what? <laughs> you mean the plunger? They're like, what? <laughs> what are you talking about? No, I mean the cafetiere. This is lovely. I love these colors. When did you leave Australia, Megan? Ooh, I love the colors on the brush. They look good. Let's see, it gets a bit of water. Ooh. Green's coming out now. Can you hear those seagulls? I think there's like an epic battle going on in the sky. Ooh, so pretty. There's such high contrast on that screen. It's not as, <laughs> maybe it's just my screen. Who's the winner? Hold on. <laughs> it's coming, it's coming. Oh. Just get all my stuff. So this is the exact journal I will be sending. And the lucky prize winner was Becca. Woo, woo, woo. I have got the video that I will upload to the group and I will be posting this out as soon as I can. I'll probably get it all arranged tomorrow. Um, and I also wanted to share something with you. So I have something pretty cool, I think, in my humble opinion. Oh no, darn it. I have a book and I think that you would really benefit from it it's called happiness through self-care and it is like 54 pages long it's not a massive massive thing but it also comes with a handy checklist which i did have in this but yeah it's like a checklist of the things that you can do all about like cdt exercise that kind of thing and then it also comes with uh this 30 simple self-care tips to get you through and like it's just a bonus guide so you get the book 
and these two bonuses along with like a mind map of all the types of like self-care activities and why they're important and everything and that whole bundle together is usually 29 pounds but today i'm offering you you specifically because you're here a 30 percent off coupon um the coupon is art therapy all one word and you can visit clairedb.com forward slash ebook and just claim that and just add the coupon art therapy to save 30 percent and i think that it could be oh no not art therapy claire ebook <laughs> i'm just writing down the details here So that you can see on screen and everything it'll be there for you it's an instant download kind of a situation so it's hosted on a website called gumroad once you enter your email and the coupon then you can process payment and it's usually instant download like it will say your link is being emailed to you and then you can download the four separate files and you can read them in your iBooks or your ebook reader or whatever it is that you are using to read PDFs. You can print out the bonuses. I wouldn't recommend printing out the book because it's like 54 pages and it would it would just end up costing a lot in ink. But it's it's not a difficult read and it just kind of outlines the, the important self-care steps that you can take to really look after yourself. And like it's whenever we're not in a good place that we struggle to look after ourselves me included so having that checklist and stuff whenever my head is so far up my butt with worry about just life and all the things um yeah having that kind of checklist is like okay so i need to just go back to basics i need to yeah remember take care of yourself yep yeah, do this do that do that and it is just it's so helpful and it helps me to just cultivate another healthy habit to really care for myself and then automating it the way I want to do that I'm always telling you about <laughs> and <laughs> thank you so much <laughs> yeah I like it too it's the bright colors I love looking at it whenever I'm working although I can kind of stare at it a wee bit too long so if you are um putting in that link don't put a full stop at the end I don't know why that appeared I think it was because I just hit spacebar twice Ooh, whoops gosh darn it let me see if I can do that and then add a spacebar oh yep there we go spacebar full stop it's the heat guys it's the heat <laughs> roasted I'm gonna have to really fill out my wall that away instead of down of that away so I'm going to work on my wall next week, maybe <laughs> make that a fun, creative project. Thank you so much for joining me this week. I saw the poll that I created inside the Facebook group. The next most popular one was creating DIY journal. If you are up for that, then I would be more than happy to do one of those with you next week. I would love to show you one actually that I made. Please excuse me. And we can do it like this. So this is, oh, sorry for the shaking. This is just card and washi tape and literally just A4 pieces of card folded. And then, um, so here's the folded part and then reinforced with tape. So yeah, this is all DIY. They're literally just folded and stacked on top of one another. This is just one of the many, many ways we can make a DIY journal. And this is one of my very old ones. Some of the very first arty things that I've done. Um, not all winners, <laughs> but that's okay. It's part of the process. Oh, I like that. That's cool. Um, yeah, some calf kits in there. This was from an anthropology catalog, I think. And I absolutely love that. That's stuck together. This more just mark making and doodling. Lots of drawing. So I like flowers, in case you hadn't guessed. And also cake. I like that too. And this is just Crayola markers, I can see. And then, yeah, that's the end. No, it's not. I'm a liar. More flowers, cheapers. I was really on a kick. Yeah, so, oh, it turns out I didn't finish that journal, did I? Nope, I didn't. 
still going, still got space in there. But yeah, I, I love it. Now the outside covers, I had cut the A4 pages in half and then just washi taped them to make like the binding. And I think it looks pretty great. If this is something that would interest you, excuse me, um, we can do this next week. It's not a difficult thing to do. We can do an even simpler one, but yeah, this is fun. And I even love the mistakes that I made just in the background, just splodge and paint on things. I really like how it looks. So don't forget that just this weekend only, so it'll come off on Monday, this discount for the books and the checklist and the, so the book, the checklist and like the resources for 30 self-care activities that you can do every day. Go via clairedb.com forward slash ebook and use the coupon art therapy to save 30% because I just from talking to you a lot and um, just within the group and in DMs I think that it is something that you could benefit from and yeah I wanted to give you that offer and I want to thank you so much I'm already looking forward to making a DIY journal with you next week um I had a great call with Toshia this week that's how you pronounce her name and she was showing me the sketchbook that she had done. And I was like, that is an art journal. You've been doing an art journal. And she was so surprised and so happy. And it just brought me so much joy. So I am going to try and find some of my earliest art journals. Now they may be at my mother's house, but I'll be going there for a visit in a couple of weeks and doing my life from there. So you might be able to see them then. Um, but yeah, so ones from about 2009, 2010, I'm going to try and find those and just show show the kind of the beginning stages because we may not call it an art journal um i think there are other words for it like an uh like an every almost nope something to do with a place <laughs> commonplace book where they just kind of keep everything but that to me that's an art journal because it's full of drawings and it's full of art and it's full of painting and it's collage and so yeah it's an art journal and i absolutely love them so yeah i'm very excited for that I will see you next week and yeah, go grab that ebook while the discount is going this weekend. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm gonna go lie in front of the fan if you don't mind. <laughs> and it has been a pleasure as always. And I will see you on Monday. Thank you. Bye.